Hi folks, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge, and today I've got some news and then an unboxing. First for the news, my summer schedule. Uh, July and August is what I'm talking about for my summer schedule, and that's because uh, my wife, uh, she works as a teacher's helper, educational assistant, and so she gets uh, July and August off, that's summer break in Canada, for most uh, provinces, most jurisdictions. And she will not be working, not getting an income either. But that means it's time for us to have our holiday then. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, the first week and a half uh, until about the 14th of July for nine days or so, we've booked some camping at uh, Jasper National Park, which is arguably Canada's greatest national park. And uh, so we'll be you know, camping, hanging out, and I'll be doing a number of outdoor knife reviews and uh, stuff like that uh, while we're camping, uh, just because it's a, you know, we've got the time. And then after the 14th, uh, we take off and we drive on a road trip down to Southern Ontario. That's about 3,000 kilometers, uh, almost 2,000 miles of a drive and uh to visit family, mostly to visit my mother. And that's where I've got bad news and hopefully there's a way for you guys to help me out. Uh, my mother just very, very recently has been diagnosed with a terminal cancer. And, um, you know, my parents are immigrants back in the sixties. They came to Canada from the, from Mexico actually. And, uh, they've lived, you know, near the poverty line. They raised five children and did a good job with raising us, but, uh, they've never found their fortune. And, um, you know, they've just worked hard all their lives. And, um, uh, my mother, she's in her 70s, and this is the third time she's fighting cancer. And this time it's just a very aggressive, it's in her bones. It's starting to get through all of her organs and stuff. And basically, she's trying to get the best care she can to have a decent end of life. Um, Canadian ha Canadians have a decent medical system paid for by our taxes, uh, but it doesn't cover everything. And so there's a number of prescriptions, medications that she needs that she cannot afford, and hopefully uh, we can figure out a way to help out my mother. Uh, I'm going to try to, I think I'm going to raffle off some of my knives. I'm not sure if that's legal, if I'm allowed to do that on YouTube or not, or if I'm allowed to do that maybe on Facebook or some other place. Uh, I'm also just going to accept donations from people. Of course, I have no charitable status. I won't be able to give you a receipt so that you can claim it come your tax time. But, you know, hopefully I can get some of you guys to help me out to help her. Uh, as soon as I found out, I stopped buying knives completely. So uh, I'm not buying anything. I'm still getting some knives for free. And I'm still getting shipments for some stuff. And that's why I've got the unboxing today. Stuff that I ordered before I found out. Um, all my spare money is going to go to be helping my mother. Not that I have a lot of spare money because I'm living on a disability pension. But uh, you guys have, you know, been there before. I don't think I'm going to do a knife sale because I've tried selling knives of mine three times and there's just no real money to be made there. And that's because my knives are so low cost and shipping is so high. Uh, you know, it's just, I, I've spent so much money on shipping. I really made very little money the last couple of times I did, you know, the selling. And um, unless people want to pay way more than market value, you know, and I don't, you do. So I'm going to try to do some raffles or whatever. Uh, and that is, I'll, you know, if I get 50 people to donate X amount of money, then those 50 names will go into a hat and I'll draw out one and that person will win the prize. Uh, like a lottery, basically. Uh, if I'm allowed to do that, if I legally can do that. I don't think I can in some places, in some ways, but maybe I can. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. But in any case, if any of you just want to donate to help out my my dear mother, um, you know, please contact me, email me at CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com, and I'll give you a way that you can help me help her. Now, for oh, also, because I'll be doing all that traveling and stuff, my number of videos is going to go down for the summertime. I'm trying, I want to guarantee that I'll do two videos a week, one on a Sunday for sure and one other video. I hope to do three or four a week. I've been doing seven uh, and sometimes eight a week for the last while. 
um, you know, I'll have to do them at my parents' place and while I'm traveling and stuff. And so we'll see. They might be shorter. They might be lower quality. Uh, you know, they won't have this nice, you know, studio effect. I won't have my studio lighting. You know, they won't be as good as these in, you know, the, the technical aspect. But the quality of my reviews will be just as good. So there you go. That's what's going on. I think I covered it all. Um, let's do some unboxing and see what we've got. So I got this box and um, I'm not quite sure who it's from, but I have a feeling that I know who it's from. I believe it's from Mora. We'll find out. It doesn't say Mora on the package, but this just fell out. Light my fire. Now who does the light my fire stuff? Mora! <laughs> Yes. So they sent me the neck knife kit for the Eldris. Ho ho ho. You know, it's the, uh, there's two different boxes and they're taped together right there. So it's a blue Eldris with the neck knife kit. So I'll be definitely reviewing that this summer. Let's see if there's anything else in here. That's it. By the way, what, what am I using to open that up with? I'm using my HX Outdoors ZD-004. Yes, there is a steel liner in there, but this is sort of a bright, almost cartoony kind of knife, nice Warncliffe tip up there. This guy's pretty sharp and it's pretty nice. Now, now for my other package. This guy is from Boker. I know some of you guys don't like Boker. That's okay. And it's been delayed for a long time because CBSA got their hands on it. Canada Border Services Agency. So I don't even know if everything is in there. But I have ordered a bunch of stuff from Boker. Um, I know a lot of you Germans don't like Boker. <laughs> Just like a lot of Americans don't like uh, Gerber knives or, or uh, CKRT, you know. We don't tend to really appreciate the stuff that's close to home. We like to look across the ocean or someplace else, and we like the things that come from there and are brought over here. They're more exotic, and so we just love them when they are that way. It's it's a weird human psyche kind of thing. So let's check this out. We've got a number of products. Here's a small box. Let's pull my knife out. And uh, unwrap this. Take it out of that box. And yes, of course, it says Boker. Let's close this up so I don't hurt myself. And it's got that magnet. And we've got the instructions and everything here. So this is going to be a Wee Wednesday knife for sure. And look what we've got here. Ta-da! A little frame lock. Oh, why don't I recall the name on this guy? Why don't I recall the name on this guy? But, you know, it's sort of a reverse tanto, or you might call it a Warncliffe tip. Hollow grind, Aussie steel. Great big <laughs> tip-up pocket clip. <laughs> frame lock. All of these um, I got from Boker at a significant discount, so I did pay some money. Um, one of them is uh, that I paid pretty close to the full price that it's running for, and um, that's because one of the knives I ordered is End of Life. So I'm not, uh, I didn't get it to review it. I got it because I've wanted it for a long time, and now the price was very much right. And uh, I'll put it on the screen once we get to it, uh, because you can get it yourself for $100. Uh, when the thing was retailing, MSRP used to be 250 MSRP 250 which means it was selling for like 180 190 something like that. And now it's um, 
on for just a hundred US dollars. So this box has this knife in it. Knife. Oh, this is that worldwide knife. So it's got a really hard slip joint. It's not a back lock. It's got a very stiff, you know, two detent slip joint. I wanted to do some knives uh, that are legal, basically worldwide, definitely in the UK. I've got a number of viewers from the UK. And so this slip joint, wow, that's the hardest detent that I've had on any slip joint in the last few years. And this is a very strong knife. Recurve and uh, tip down pocket clip. That detent is so strong, it's almost dangerous if I'm not being careful. Just have to keep those fingers clear. Very, very strong detent. This I got for a very good price. It has a seal on it. So it's time to break the seal. There we go. Let's get into King Tutankhamun's tomb and see what we've got inside. Um, in German. Gratulation zu ihrem neuen Bokermesser. My German sucks. All right. Ta-da! Very deep pocket clip. Wooden handle scales. Nice belly on that knife. Just fits into my hand. My hand's large. Almost extra large. VG10 steel. Um, oh, who's that designer? BZ. I'll give you those details. It comes with some tools and everything. That flipper is really, really nice. This is very much a gentleman's flipper. And it's a nice small one. That might even be under three inch uh, legal limit for a lot of places. Boker Plus, tip up, very deep carry. This guy's gonna be in my pocket quite a bit. I am sure of that. Okay, let's put that away. We've got two more to go. We've got the 01B0730, also sealed. Cut towards my chum, ta-da. And, congratulations. Oh, here we go, this is the knife. So, uh, titanium handle scales, frame lock, and then they've done all that skeletonizing. Very light, very smooth, all oh, bearings on there. This is a sweet knife. Very, very light. I doubt if this guy has two ounces. So, uh, with VG10 steel, I think I said that already, that thing just wants to fly out. The detent is very nice. Very comfortable gentleman's folder. Let's put him back in the box. And there's tools with that one as well. And the final box is this big guy right here. Also sealed. Let's break that seal. And let's see what we've got today from here. We've got cardboard. I think I... Oh, okay, that's why. It's come off completely. This is the knife. 01B0148. And uh, just that lower number, there's also a tool in there, tells you that it's older. And uh, this knife is the knife that's on clearance. If you get a chance to pick this up, titanium handle scales, quite deep pocket clip, right side only though, VG10 steel, uh, Monero design, the designer, great big stop pin in there, frame lock, titanium backspacer, very grippy any way you wanna hold this knife. Great big saber grind, not great, but a great big knife with a saber grind. That's right around four inches. 
uh, thumb disc up here, a little bit of jimping on the thumb riser. I am very glad that I got this for, uh, you know, the price that I did. Um, you can get it if they still have some for $99.99 or is it $90.99? Whatever it is, I'll put the link down below. The sooner you've seen this video from the date of production, the higher your odds are that you're going to get this. So several knives with VG10, two knives with OS8, so that equals five of them, and my Eldritch with Eldritch, <laughs> my um, yeah Eldris, not Eldritch, my Eldris with the uh, neck knife kit. All of these guys are coming to you really soon. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, uh, especially thank you so much for supporting my mother. Any donation, five dollars will be helpful. Any donation, $50 is really helpful, but any amount of money will be really helpful to give my mother the best end of life experience that she can possibly have, medically speaking, that is. Thank you so much for your help and your assistance with that. Wow, this is a great knife. I might just have to sell this guy uh, because it's going to be worth enough to help my mother. Leave it in brand new condition. We'll see. If I would have known beforehand, before I ordered it, you know, that my mother was going to have this need, I wouldn't have bought it, that's for sure. So maybe I'll just have to sell it on. Anyways, thanks so much for walking. walking. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, for liking, sharing, commenting, and remembering to always cut towards your chum, the other guy, and not your thumb. <laughs>